What up, Fight World? This is Ashley's Corner, and I'm here to talk about Leonard Bundu. Um, <clears throat> having a word uh, and talking about um, his fight he had with Keith Thurman and his fight he had with Earl Spence. Only reason why I'm talking about this is because it's a possibility that um, Keith that uh, Earl Spence wins this fight on Saturday, and if he does, he will be fighting Keith Thurman. And same thing with Kell Brook. If he wins the fight on sa- Saturday, he will be fighting um, Keith Thurman. But since Bundu never fought, Kell Brook, I can do this video right now because I, don't, I really don't know when this uh, interview took place, but it was interesting, so I got to talk about it. But um, <clears throat> Bundu says that uh, Keith Thurman is, is a better all-around fighter. He has a bunch of snap to his punches, and uh, Keith Thurman hits harder than uh, Earl Spence. And he said Earl Spence has heavy hands, you know. But he doesn't have that snap to his punches. And um, he said Earl Spence hits hard with his right and his left. Equally hard with his right and left. And every punch, every kind of punch he lands is, he, he lands is a power punch. Meaning any straight overhand right, I mean overhand left because he's, he's a southpaw. And um, hooks, uppercuts, jabs, all of that. It's, all of it is a power shot, and that's because, like I've said, he'll walk you down and sit down on his punch. If you if you let keep if you let Earl Spence sit down on his punches, that's what he's gonna do to you. Um, he also said that um, Spence is very accurate. He lands sixty four percent of his power punches. That is a lot, okay. In in a lot of fights, people don't land sixty four percent of their punches. Period. Let alone let alone power punches. But that's why because he you know fighters allow him to sit down on his punches, and it has a lot to do with um, how Spence goes to the body so much. Your legs don't move that much. It takes your legs out, takes your wind, it takes your heart, you know. But um, <clears throat> he said his your, he said uh, his punches wear you down after a while, you know, and the, the pressure, he keeps you under pressure. It's always a high pace. You got to be just as, just your, your stamina got to be up to par with Earl Spence's is basically what he's saying with the, um, he always keeps you under pressure. And, but he said Thurman has great legs. He has great legs and he's a little bit faster than, um, Earl Spence. And I don't have no problem with, with what he's saying because Spence, because Thurman knocked him down too. But I just don't understand. You know, you was using the last the last rope as a pillow. You was. He, you were asleep. Bundu was asleep. I don't think he made it out the sixth round. He was asleep. But the only question I have, if Keith Thurman is such a good puncher and snap and has more power in his punches and he hits harder than Earl Spence, why weren't you asleep in the fight? You went a whole 12 rounds and didn't go to sleep. So, I mean, is this really about... You know, is this about winning for points with Keith Thurman? Is he trying to knock people out or not? And don't please don't get me wrong. I love Keith Thurman. I've I've liked Keith Thurman and started liking Keith Thurman and watching him when um, Floyd Mayweather was still fighting. You know, I have a lot of respect for Keith Thurman. I like Keith Thurman, but look at his face after the Bundu fight. You know what I mean? I just don't understand how come Keith Thurman didn't knock you down. During the fight, how come he didn't knock you out during the fight? I mean, it's and I know he he does look for knockouts, but from what Bundu is saying, there's no reason why Keith Thurman shouldn't have knocked him out. There's no reason why he shouldn't have did it. So it just makes it making me wonder a little bit. But what? But if if, Bun, if what Bundu is saying is true, and you know he hits very accurate and is 64 percent of power punches, he always goes to the body, and you know his punches wear you out faster. And Keith Thurman has good legs, and he has a good snap. Um, when they fight each other, I don't think his Keith Thurman's legs or snap is going to make a difference because of what Bundu just said. If he pressures you and keep going to your body, that's what's going to go first is your legs, and then your power is going to come out of out of your punches because of your body so weak. But let me know what y'all think. This has been Ashley's Corner. I had to say something about this. Like and subscribe. Peace.